Okay, let's put you away. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, just that. My fancy boots from Solitude. Okay. I think I've been here long enough. Thank you for everything, kind. Let me go see if I can put any of it to good use. Oh, they're up early. They're always up early. Morning, Bori. Dova King. Oh. Indeed. I really wonder what this room is for. I don't ever have anyone here, so... The only person I've seen around who wasn't a Greybeard or myself was either Klimek or that orc. I wonder where Arngir is. He might be outside. Or that might be him. Okay, that's Bori. That might be him. Might also be... Wolfgar? Wolfgar. Well, I don't really want to bother them when they don't want to be bothered. Because... Angry Greybeards scare me. Oh, woo! I've been in there way too long. Doesn't look like there's anyone out here. There is someone. Hey, wait. Uh, Arngear? Wind, got you. I'm about to leave, but I had some questions about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jurgen Windcorner. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. The privilege is mine. Are there only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. Oh. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Makes sense. What does it mean to be Dragonborn? And I think I've asked you this before, but... I've studied so much now. And I'm... <laughs> so much for me, anyway. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. I would say it's a time of great need, with the dragons returning and all that. That doesn't have anything to do with me, does it? No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. I was... You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I'll continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. 
I hope so. You know that ceremony the other day? When you were all shouting at me? What was all that about, anyway? Does that happen to every dragonborn, or...? We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar, before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Oh. I... Definitely thought that I had read something about that. I didn't know that was actually true. What... What did you say? I mean, I speak the dragon tongue well enough to know a few words, but that was impressive. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, Dragon of the North. Hearken to it. So I did understand it better than I thought I did. So, An Suryak Tushur is how you say in the name of Shore? That's fun. I'd like to know more about the voice, if there's anything you can teach me. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. Of course. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. I'm kind of ready now, actually. Um... Do you know of any off the top of your head? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Thank you. I feel like I needed to get out of here anyway. Get out of your hair, that kind of thing. Or your <laughs> beards. I will leave you in peace now. And come back when I'm ready for more study. Sky above, voice with it. You too. I'm not sure what the proper response to that is. And that must be the path up to the top, huh? Who in their right mind would live all the way up there? I say, standing halfway up a mountain at a monastery. Anyway, where am I going? Ancient s something? Ascent? Ancients Ascent. Uh... Oh, yeah. I've still gotta do that. Well... Uh, I guess I'll go down the long way and... Take care of that. Oh, boy. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> or I should say, what was that supposed to... Oh. Well, okay.
Good grief. Going up the mountain is hard enough. Going down again? Really hard on the knees. I know I'm supposed to do something with this. I'll do it when I come back. Because I will come back. That's for sure. Okay. Morning. Afternoon. Is it still morning? Still morning. Cool. Okay. I'm going up a mountain somewhere. Up the mountain that is directly in front of my face. This should be fun. How exactly am I supposed to get there from here? Well, I guess I'll just go overland and hopefully not run into too much trouble. It looks like there's a couple of mercenaries going to check out the same thing. Or something similar, I'm not sure. <laughs> so it'll be up in... <laughs> How about we stay away from the bear? I'm getting out of here. Did I bring it with me? Hope not. Have fun, you two. Okay. It's gonna be up in there. I don't know where. Um, this looks like a A camp. When are we gonna see some action? An imperial camp. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hi, just passing through. Ooh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I don't think they would. I'm an uh I'm a red guard. I have no love for the Imperials, but I have no hate for them either, so Okay. This looks like it should be the start of a path. That also looks like it should be the start of a path. And I need to go to the one over there. So. Ah. When in doubt, follow the creepy skulls. Thanks for the pointer, Hercene. Hmm. Look at that hawk up there. That was a weird thought and uh, a weirder idea for. Mm -hmm. Her scene and kind are both supposed to be kind of like. Ooh, that's a cat. Like beings of nature, right? I feel like that's probably where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, Kitty, I don't have time for you. I was going to say I feel like the two of them would get along quite well if one of them wasn't a Daedra. Let's steer around that cat. Oh boy. Yep. Autumn Watchtower. That would be that thing right there. Hmm. <laughs> seems a bit mean, even for a dragon. Let's 
let's go with that thing, just in case I end up falling off the tower for whatever reason. Okay, let's be quiet about this also. Too late! Okay! That's fine. Oh boy. Kind? Lend me your bow. Hi. Are we gonna do this or. Yep. Missed. Oh boy. Oh! Ah. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't go with the frost ones. I missed. Yeah! again. No. Okay, no, that was him. I hope it was. Hello. Hello. Ah, okay. Let's get some cover and heal. Oh! He just landed, didn't he? Where is he? Let's find out. There he is. Oh boy. down. Let that one go a little bit too. Yeah, fine. It sounds like there's another one. Alright, let's do this then, shall we? Oh. Dealt with. 